So this is Keg Bear. Um, you can uh, select your players. Right now we've got four. Picking uh, two AI and two human players. We're going to ally one AI with one human, just as an example here. Um, crossbow men, defenders, berserkers. That's how many the player gets. That's how many the AI gets. Um, these are just a bunch of customization options that you don't have to do. You could just start the game, hit play, and start playing. And it will default to one AI player and one human player. Um, terrain options, map select, then it's into the uh, map editor. So yeah, here we're drawing the map. Some terrain, moving the start position of your units before the game starts. And, uh, then you just press play. And when you're ready, once you have everything lined up just how you like it. Again, you don't have to do this. You just hit play and have random rocks displayed all over the place if you like. There's uh, an example of using your units, your defenders, in a, in a line, making a defensive position. The enemy can't go through it. Right there, I just teased the uh, one of the crossbows by changing my status from crossbow protection to berserker protection. And he, he went for the shot, but I turned it back. Yeah, it can be fun to tease the AI. Uh, but you got to be quick, <laughs> as you can see. So these are melee attacks. They do two damage each. Once you're hit, you become red. Your movement is cut down. You can't move as far, and you only do one damage back. You'll stay in that state until you're healed. So just move a keg bear near you, and it'll automatically heal everyone around them. So now those two healed units are doing two damage. The double tap ends your turn bit. If there's an adjacent enemy, it'll attack, do a melee attack. So these, you know, those out of range units are just double tap to end the turn. Oh, there it goes. Shot that defender because he was protecting from Berserker and not the, uh, not the missile fire. Good way to remember is the X is like two axes and a single line on the defender. That's like a crossbow bolt. So single line means missile protection, X means berserker protection. Uh, so double tap ends your turn, but if there's an adjacent unit and attacks, uh, there's some more examples of uh, using the right defensive state. See the, the X just there got blocked, but the other guy, he got hit. So can be hard to keep track of it all. Use your keg to heal. Hold the line. Keep your reserves ready. We're doing good here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta be careful. The AI is pretty sharp. When the hit points are reduced below zero, you just get killed. Below one, zero below. So the healthy units, they hit for two. Injured units hit for one. Um, when the keg bear heals, it takes away your injured state and heals you for one point. Uh, it won't heal a, a unit that isn't injured, even though that injured, that non-injured unit can still be low on hit points you can't be healed you can only it, it's like a band-aid it only heals one point so if you're hit for five you can be brought up one um, and that's it it's more important that it removes the injured state so that the unit can move the full distance and attack it with two points the uh, the one point heal is just a bonus Crossbow units, though, um, 
if they're in an injured state, it only reduces their movement. Uh, the crossbow shots will always do two damage regardless. So that makes the crossbows dangerous whether or not they're injured. The auto attacks you've been watching are happen when you double tap, it'll automatically attack the weakest unit. However, if you just drag over top of a unit, you can specifically target that unit uh, rather than using the double tap. Shooting's pretty easy. You can drag the unit. And when you see the light in the front, that means you're in aim mode. So you can just drag back the aim, release the shoot, just lift the finger up, it fires. Notice that you can, when you're in aiming mode, um, you can pull your finger back over top other units. The user interface is not going to confuse and touch the other units. So it's smart that way. Finish them off. We're changing the state of the Berserker. With two axes, you'll do the area of effect attack, spin attack. Since he was at full health, they only got hit for two points, which can be quite devastating to your opponent. Um, all of those defenders up there, if they had berserk protection, they would have took no damage. They just had to be tapped. That's where you have to keep on your toes. This is an example of moving around uh, an injured berserker. His movement's now limited to three. Usually it's four, which is a specialty for the Berserker. Everyone else only gets their half movement. The berserker gets half plus one. As you can see, one block, one hit. So here's some friendly fire examples, just to further emphasize the blocking state of the defender. And this is showing, turning off and on the uh, crossbows, you toggle between movement mode or aiming mode. You can't move it in at the same time, obviously, so if you tap it, you toggle between those two modes. The, when the light's on, it's aiming mode. So that's Keg Bear. Um, let's take a look at some of the AI versus AI. Let's see what that looks like. Always a good idea to shoot berserkers, even if they're in defend mode, because that injured state can save you a lot of pain. Mass attack with two points is a lot more dangerous than mass attack with one. That keg's fighting for its life. Yellow one. Mm -hmm. And it saved itself. It's down to one point. Pretty lucky. It's also protecting itself better this time. So that's Keg Bear. No random dice. All damage is one or two. Makes it the perfect gambling game. Throw down 20 bucks with your buddies and uh, skill will determine the winner. Nothing less. And that's just the way we want it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.